Hello my dear friends and welcome! Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for zodiac sign Libra for both men and women all over the world being born under this zodiac sign. My dear friends, you can see already in front of my camera your tarot spread for the next two weeks is already waiting. But wait a second, before I move to tarot, I want to talk about astrology and every single transit which basically is happening for the next two weeks, starting from 25th of December, Christmas, until 7th of January 2018. So I will share with you today a lot of uh, insights. So please uh, be patient and, you know, stay tuned with me. Uh, okay, and uh, please uh, listen, I mean watch also, uh, bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for your moon sign and for your rising sign as well, because you will, uh, you will get, you know, complete, uh, completed, you know, uh, story, uh, what might happen in the next two weeks in your, uh, in your life. And of course, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and of course to your family as well. Okay, so my dear Libras, my dear friends, let's get started. Okay, I'm watching your natal chart. Of course, this is general reading, right? So, uh, let me start with, 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 okay, let me start with your ruler, Venus, planet Venus. Uh, Venus will enter, uh, planet Venus will enter into the sign of Capricorn on Christmas 25th of December 2017. Capricorn is to be seen in your fourth house of your household, home, roots, inner foundation, inner strength and basically how you nurture yourself. So Venus, your ruling planet, will try to help you to feel very good about yourself and Venus will uh, show you that basically uh, you will feel very good inside of your home. So, I will talk about love a little bit later, but only by having Venus in your fourth house. It means that you want to, to be alone with basically your partner, current or new one, and you do enjoy in your love nest. But to tell you the truth, uh, Venus is not the only one planet now being in your fourth house. Because in your fourth house is, <laughs> you know, a little bit crowded. You have powerful stellium in your fourth house because on 20th of december saturn teacher and task master very very harsh and serious you know planet uh come to your fourth house on 20th of december to help you to build your strength and to build your self-esteem so my dear libras you don't need to worry about saturn because the most powerful and the most important uh, lectures and lessons you have learned in the past five or six years. So now you know exactly who you are because Saturn already been in your first house. You know your value because Saturn already been in your second house. You know how to communicate uh, your thoughts because Saturn were in your third house. And now you have built your confidence, so now you can welcome, you know, some new lectures and new people in your life. So basically at this point, you will feel much more powerful uh, when it comes to your self-esteem. People can't treat you like before, but due to Uranus, who is still in your seventh house in the sign of uh, Aries, and Uranus have a big powerful task which and he put it in front of you. He smashed and he destroyed all kinds of false uh, marriages and friendships and partners. He simply destroyed uh, people who are not good enough for you. So in the past six years you learned that basically you need to put yourself on the first place. So now you can meet new type of people entering into basically the most intimate uh, space in your life, which is your fourth house, which is basically 
uh, your inner strength, your inner foundation, your inner space. So this Saturn will bring men, if you are a woman who is older than you, somebody who is successful, somebody who is established, somebody who knows what he wants, uh, when he wants, why he wants and with whom he wants. And yes, I'm talking about love. Still, story about story about your fourth house is not over <laughs> because you have a sun also in your fourth house and sun basically is the light. Sun is the most powerful help which can come from a cosmos to you saying that you are unbeatable. Nobody can play with you. Now you know to the core who you are. By knowing who you are, you can choose people, good people for yourself. I can see easily so many people are going to be interested into you. But now you really need to say to majority of them, no, thank you so very much, but you know, guess what? I have a flash news for you. You are not good for me. I, I mean, I'm not saying that you need to be rude. I'm not talking about that. I mean, and even if I say such a thing, by being Libra, you simply can't be rude. You can't be uh, unpolite because to the core, you are very, 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 very polite, very sensitive, very smart type of people. Never mind, you can be man or woman. Still, grace is basically another name for you. So, sun and Venus and Pluto will be in conjunction. And uh, Sun, Venus and Pluto basically are saying that you most likely will fall in love over hills completely unexpectedly. If you think that you need to travel somewhere, honey, no, you don't need uh, to travel anywhere because your fourth house is your neighborhood. So this man with whom you will fall in love or woman, if you are male Libra watching now this video, this man is already very close to you. For so many of you, you already know him. For so, so for for other group of Libras people, uh, this is completely somebody new. But for so many of you, I can see somebody is knocking at your door, and this is your uh, ex partner. Do you still want him back? I don't know. This is not for me to judge because I also can see North Node of the Moon being in your 11th house in the sign of Leo. And 11th house is your lover. Quite very easily, Leo can, go, can come back. Maybe Taurus, maybe Capricorn, maybe Scorpio, maybe Aquarius, maybe even Pisces. Who knows? Could be, excuse me, any other astrological sign. But there is possibility for such a thing. But now you gain your power back. Because Pluto in the sign of Capricorn still, and for a couple of years he will be there. Pluto wants to help you to find a courage to fight for what you want. And uh, now you will make important alliance unity with somebody who finally will be worthy of your love. Can you see? So this is basically very, very important. Okay, next. 1st of January, uh, there is a full moon in the sign of Cancer on 11th degree. This will happen in your 10th house of your career. So honey, with this full moon on one side and sun being, I mean, always in opposition with this full moon in your 4th house, it is time to be inside of your house with your lover, with your friend, with your family, with your children and take some time for you. You are exhausted. So please don't say, oh, I still want to work. I'm very diligent. Libras, listen to me. Everybody know that you are smart. Everybody out there, out there know that you are very diligent. But how come you think that you need to work even on the 1st of January? Don't do that. Stay inside of your house and indulge yourself, especially because I can see so many Libras enjoying inside of your house because of the Sun, Venus and a Saturn. So they will give you 
they will put somebody in your life in the next two weeks or so. On the 6th of January, I can see Mercury in uh, communication with Uranus. Mercury is... Um, uh, Mercury is, 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 is in a sign of Sagittarius in your third house and Uranus is in your seventh house. So this is, uh, th those two planets are going to be uh, uh, in a trine. So basically this is communication between you and uh, your friend and there is a possibility somebody will invite you to come to another town, to another maybe even state because I can see... Um, Maybe even many of you on the road, you know, so you I can see you on the road This invitation will come completely out of the blue This also could be somebody that you didn't did not hear for quite some time many 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 months or maybe even many many years so you can so you can uh, you know pre prepare yourself for this completely unexpected invitation you know kind of you know spend new year if uh, with 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 me or with us or you know whatever um uranus will start with direct motion on 2nd of uh, january which basically is good you know because now um uh, you can meet completely somebody new and this person um, will simply pop up in front of you and i think this is completely somebody new could be an Aries, could be Libra, could be Aquarius, also could be any other astrological sign, but most likely somebody that you will meet around New Year Eve. Okay, so what is next? Uh, 7th of January, I can see Mars and Jupiter being in conjunction in a sign of Scorpio in your second house. Okay, so for, from 7th of January, you have, uh, you have opportunity uh, to work um, very, 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 very hard. And due to that, I can see big amount of money is coming your way, you know, because this is Mars and Jupiter. Jupiter is a doer. Jupiter is um, a planet who basically wants to give you money and also uh, telling to you, use some of your money, spend some of your money on some... Uh, beautifying yourself, uh, do something only for your soul. You are permitted to do such a thing. Mars is a rather um, aggressive, uh, you know, planet. But when you have J Jupiter and Mars in a conjunction, this is not bad. And first of all, Mars is a ruler of Scorpio and Mars is a ruler of your seventh house. So in conjunction with Jupiter, because we are dealing with your second and with your seventh house, you can meet somebody who is really, really rich, who want to enjoy in life with you. So can you see, nothing is wrong with this type of invitation. And maybe even this is somebody coming from your past. If not from your past, then this is completely somebody new. But I can see very educated type of a person in your life and somebody who finally will give you what your heart is aching for. So my dear Libras, this is astrology. Now we can go back to Tarot. Major Arcana of the World, Major Arcana of Justice, Two of Cups, thank God, Knight of Pentacles and Major Arcana of the Star. First of all, Tarot story could be completely different than astrology because Tarot is Tarot, astrology is astrology. Okay, never mind. First of all, you have once again Two of Cups. I don't know, my dear Libras, how come you have so often Two of Cups in your reading? So can you say, you know, God loves you. But there is somebody else who loves you. Who? Who, 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 who? Well, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, right? All right. So can you see, this man is offering you money. This man is not riding. You can see he's not moving. He is very, very still. So... You will meet somebody who will say to you, I came to stay with you. Simply as that. I am not going anywhere. And even if you do not want me this very second, I will come in your life again a little bit later. So to tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't have any kind of idea. I don't have a clue why on earth you might say to him uh, that you are busy, 
that you do not want to spend time with him. I don't know, you know, because I can see somebody who will care about you a lot. Can you see Major Canada star? Completely, most likely somebody new. But my dear Libras with this Major Canada adjustment or ad adjustment or justice, so many of you, you are still waiting for this final call from your ex. But Major Canada world basically is saying, saying that one important chapter in your life finally is over. But maybe you have the problem uh, uh, to, to admit that to you. So there is a lot of work still to be done inside of you to finally get rid of this feeling inside of you that you are not good enough, that you, you still have so many scars uh, inside of you. But there is a reason why this person is entering into your life. And of course, if you are a male Libra, then of course, this is a woman coming in your life to heal all kinds of wounds that you might possibly have um, uh, on uh, inside of your heart. You will have problem to adjust yourself because uh, now, especially because of so many scars and battle scars that basically you have uh, inside of yourself and everything due to this Uranus still being in your seven house, but thank God Uranus now is in a direct direct motion uh, uh, since uh, 2nd of uh, January and you will allow other people to come to enter into your life so much easier than before. So you need to adjust you, you need to adjust basically uh, what you want now, what kind of partner you really really want now. But never mind knowing or not knowing, he is already here and I told you through the eyes of astrology, he is already somewhere around you. Maybe this is your friend, maybe this is your acquaintance, maybe this is family friend, very, very easy, easily. But when you finally fall in, fall in love in the next two weeks or so, you will finally admit yourself that you are too long single. Especially if you are in a years, if you're single, you kind of simply, you kind of forget how to laugh. Okay, may, I don't know if this makes you no know, sense because you are afraid to show your truthful colors to other people because you are so afraid. Can you see this sword? And by the way, this is your tarot card, Justice. You are afraid that even if somebody treats you in a very positive and nice way, you basically expect just around the corner that basically he will leave you or he will hurt you in any kind of way. Honey, no. I don't think so, especially with this spread in front of you. Okay, so now let me put additional message, my dear Libras, for next two weeks. So there you go. Message can't be uh, much more beautiful than it is. Simply what is written, you can see with your own two eyes, embrace. So, honey, embrace what God decided already to put in your life. What? Well, this person. Simply embrace him and love each other like never ever before. My dear Libras, my dear friends, thank you so very much for being today with me. I wish you all the best. Please make sure to subscribe on my channel, book a private reading with me if you want and please share this video with your friends. I wish you Merry Christmas and Happiest New Year from the bottom of my heart to you and to your family as well. God bless you all. Bye!